Hey Knights, my name is Erin. I am one of UCF's social media ambassadors here at UCF. I'm currently a junior studying speech pathology and today I'm going to bring you guys along with me showing what a typical day in my life is like while doing distance learning online. Let's just get started. So before my class starts, one piece of advice I have for taking these online classes in the morning is to definitely prompt yourself up at a desk. If I was in that bed at 7.30 in the morning, I would be asleep. And this girl is trying to get an A on her final, which is cumulative. So get your pen to paper out, get your Zoom meeting on, maybe grab a cup of coffee, and pass these classes with an A. Here's a little preview of my class, just to show those who don't know what Zoom looks like. My teacher is currently sharing her PowerPoint with us, which we normally see during face-to-face -face classes. She's speaking on the right, and the other students is as well. There's about 47 of us, and if we do have a question, you can normally chat her in the chat box, or just unmute our microphone and ask her through there. So it's really pretty simple. Here's a little sneak peek as to what my medical terminology homework looks like. It's all breaking down by each chapter and there's certain parts or checkpoints that are due. My audiology class just ended and right now I'm gonna wash my face. And then I'm also going to go to Starbucks with my roommate just to get some coffee because we have a ton of homework to get done today online. And then I think I am going to FaceTime my family later. I miss them dearly. I am from New York, so I didn't get to stay, go home and stay with them because I did have a job here until all this happened and then all the hot lockdown happened. So right now I'm staying here safe with my roommates. My sporty little and I thought it was a great idea to get outside and get our blood pumping because we keep sitting on the couch every day and watching Criminal Minds or One Tree Hill, something with so many seasons and we aren't getting off the couch. So we decided to find Basil hoop around campus and shoot some hoops for about 30 to 40 minutes. And then when we came back to the house, we ended up making lunch. I ended up making a sandwich, which was really good. I have my computer set up on some pillows because I'm about to host a meeting, a Zoom meeting, with my family. Um, so right now my stepbrother's in Texas, he's graduated from basic training and he was based in Texas, Fort Hood. And then it's my brother in California, my sister in Massachusetts, and my dad in Massachusetts. And right now I'm still in Orlando, so it's hard to get us all together at the same time because of the time zones. And um, But it turns out all of us are good right now, so you'll get to see how the pitcher family works. <laughs> there you go. Hello. Say hi. What's up? <laughs> Whose car are you in? I'm in Enrique's. So did you hear the story about the dog? He found a dog. Oh, and you find lots of dogs just by looking outside. <laughs> oh, literally a stray dog ran up to me. I just got off the Zoom meeting with my family, and they're a pretty crazy wild bunch, not gonna lie. I love them to death though. I just really wanna stress the importance of family, um, whether they're blood related or not blood related, I don't think that matters. I think it's whoever loves you and who's there for you till the end. And that's exactly what my family has done, especially my stepmom and my stepbrother. Like I couldn't be more thankful and that's what family should be for you. And Spend as much time as you can with them. I'm not making this an emotional thing. I know, again, being an out state student, I don't get to see them at all, little to none. So when I do go home, like I put my phone down, I live in the moment and just enjoy being loved with all of them. I know this is a jumbo bunch, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying and just give your family members a hug for me. Right now I'm getting ready for bed, but I think it was a good time to end this vlog. So thank you so much for following along with me throughout my day. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, as well as follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see any more sorority life or more about my speech pathology. I'd love to help you guys, so you can also DM me. Um, I really hope you all enjoyed this, and please, please, please stay safe. 
Love y'all. Bye guys.